All right, Liz, Thanksgiving is always a big day for football, right? Even when the Bills aren't playing. And in an effort to protect athletes, researchers at the University of Buffalo are launching a new concussion study. They need some young athletes to help them out as well. Channel 2's Jeff Preval talked with the experts and shows us what they hope to learn. Inside UB's Brain Function and Recovery Lab, researchers are delving deeper into the impacts of concussions. This study is looking at if children after concussion loses more balance uh, when they do two tasks at the same time. We are looking at if children who have sustained concussion or have experienced concussion use different brain areas to balance themselves. They're also looking at the possible differences between boys and girls. Researchers are in need of 135 athletes between the ages of 8 and 17 who have either suffered a concussion or suffered a broken arm, wrist, or finger within the past year. Participants get $50 for a 90-minute assessment at UB. And we are using a sophisticated, non-invasive instrument um, to assess, you know, brain areas and those uh, those areas that are contributing to balance. Ray Turpin, the president of the Niagara Erie Youth Sports Association, says awareness of concussions emerged after the movie Concussion was released in 2015. There was some knee jerk reaction to that. And then there was some scientific and medical reaction to that, which continues to this day. He says the NFL with its platform has accelerated awareness, treatment and prevention. Our coaches, our leadership with all of our different organizations have a better understanding of concussion. And with youth sports always changing, the more proven science we have, the better. What happens today to one person uh, may not affect them at all for the rest of their life. But what happens today to another person may affect them, you know, significantly. More information about UB's concussion study can be found in this story on WGRC.com and on our app. I'm Jeff Perval, Channel 2 News.